Civil War Two, X Men Number Two, by Cullen Bund and Andrea Ricardo. On the streets of Raleigh, North Carolina, the brood attacked the local population mercilessly, dropping flying sharks and attacking the crowd without abandon. Luckily, the X Men show up thanks to a tip from the Inhuman Ulysses. Captain Marvel chides Storm for telling Magneto about Ulysses, who reminds her that he'd have found out about it at some point. Carol Danvers explains that they have to choose their battles, as Ulysses has been kidnapped once by Tony Stark. The last thing she needs is Magneto bringing his kind of crazy to the party. Back in the Savage Land, Psylocke determines Nightcrawler is being truthful. Magneto is indeed right to be concerned about Ulysses. While his gifts are useful, what if he makes the wrong predictions? What someone might do isn't absolute. Worse yet, Magneto is afraid the Inhumans could coax him into making false accusations that could immediately harm mutant kind. Psylocke tells him to tread lightly. His first step is to send Phantom X to the new Attilian headquarters of the Inhumans to gather information. He stealths around and encounters a spy from the other side of the X-Men, Gambit. The two of them are able to throw down a violent, bloody fight, but are able to do it silently. They blend into the shadows from the Inhuman guards. In fact, their fight is nearly undetected until Gambit grabs the barrel of Phantom X's pistol, charging it. It explodes and he incapacitates him, calling Jean to send magic for transport. He confirms to them that Magneto is making his move. Back in the Savage Land, Psylocke plans to make a getaway in the Blackbird, presumably to join Storm's team, before encountering Sabretooth. She's discovered Phantom X was sent to New Atelian as either a spy or an assassin. They have a brief exchange before he tells her that Magneto probably already knows her plans. Confirming these suspicions, Magneto informs his teammates of Betsy's actions. Although they're down a psychic, he reminds them that the world is full of them to call upon. With that, the issue ends to be continued, and we're left waiting until the next issue to see what happens. Sad that it takes a crossover event to get this many X-Men in one book. It's interesting to see old battles referenced. Gambit vs. Fatimax, and even Psylocke's disgust by the once Weapon X assassin, is enough to recognize that Bun respects their origins. I love a comic high on dialogue, and this one delivered. I give it a 9 out of 10. If you like this video, give me a like and subscribe. This video is accompanied by my blog at nerdiestkidyouknow.blogspot.com or nerdiestkidyouknow.com. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, as well as checking out a link to my eBay store by clicking below. For the Nerdiest Kid You Know, I'm Sam Torito. Thanks for watching.